I'm Brian. In this video series, I'll be covering useful and fun command line utilities and applications that will let you work more powerfully and productively. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get to the command line in Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now these are more entry level kinds of command lines. These are not necessarily the best ways of doing the command line. This will get you started. In the next video, in the next video in the series, I'll show you more advanced ways to get to the command line or more advanced versions of the command line in Windows, Mac, and Linux. Call this video though, level one command lines. It'll get you started. In the third video, I'll show you a neat trick to get to a command line from any kind of internet connected machine. Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, iPad, your phone, whatever you have. It's pretty cool. Once we get to a command line from within Windows, Mac, or Linux, or whatever operating system you're working on, all the commands kind of work the same. And from the fourth video on, I'll be showing you various ways of doing Linux command line tools and apps from whatever operating system we're working on. Yes, you can run Linux command line apps from Windows or Mac or Chromebook or whatever. It doesn't matter. Bear with me, you'll see. And if you can't wait for future videos, you can pick up my book, Going Text, Mastering the Power of the Command Line, by me, Brian Shell, wherever books are sold. Now, let's take a look at how this stuff is done. Okay, so first up, we're going to look at the Mac, because that's probably the simplest one to deal with. And as you can see here on the screen, I've got my Mojave desktop. And all you need to do to get to the command line is just zip down here to the terminal. No. You zip down here to the dock, click on Launchpad, and you get your pages of apps. The very first pages of apps, you've got a group called Other. Probably don't get into it very often, but you've got it. It's there somewhere. Click on Other, and it's somewhere in here. You have one called Terminal. It's the black square, plain looking icon, and it says Terminal. Click on that, boom, and you have a terminal window. That's all there is to it. You've now got a terminal window that you can resize and do things with that we'll talk about later on. Another way to get into the terminal a little quicker is to hit the command key and space at the same time and just type in T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L, enter, and it'll pop right up. Boom, same deal. Next, we'll look at Linux. And right now, as you can see, I'm running the desktop for Ubuntu 18.10. And it's very colorful. And you've got your icons over here on the dock on the left, and trash cans, and your little things over here on the right. Down here in the bottom left, you've got a button that says Show Applications. Click on Show Applications. Screen will blink for a second and you'll get a bunch of applications. This looks a lot like the Mac we just saw. Uh, there's no terminal on this screen, but if you go to the second screen, either by clicking on the little dot over here on the side or by using your scroll wheel to scroll down, you'll get to a second page, and now you've got a group of utilities. This is pretty much just like the Mac we just saw. Click on Utilities. And up come some other apps, some nice things that you probably don't use very often. But the one right down here in the corner looks just like the one for the Mac. It says Terminal. We click that. And boom, you have a terminal that you can resize and do various things with, just like we just saw on the Mac. To speed things along as a shortcut, you can do the, almost the same thing. Click on Show Applications. Up here on Search, you can just start typing T, E, R, M. And the more you type, the fewer things appear beneath it. As you see here with the word Term, that was enough. All we see here is the Terminal. Click on that, and it launches it the same way as if you'd gone through those screens. Just a little bit quicker way of going. So that's the Linux command line. 
Okay, and last we're going to look at Windows, and here we've got uh, Windows 10, the desktop for Windows 10 on screen, and we're going to do this pretty similarly to the other two. You go down to the Start bar, Start button, and you've got your list of apps here. You just scroll all the way down to the bottom, and there's sort of two different command lines in Windows. Neither one are what we really are looking for, but we'll, we'll try both of them now. Under Windows System, you click on that and it brings down a little submenu where you can click on Command Prompt. And boom, that brings up a little black and white Command Prompt. There you go. The other option that's similar, you click on the, window, the Start button, scroll all the way to the bottom again, and under Windows PowerShell, you have an option for Windows PowerShell. Click that, and you get one that looks similar, but this one's blue. Now both of these are technically command lines and neither of these are what we're really going to be using in this video series. These are holdovers from way back in the 80s, in the days of Microsoft DOS. You can do things with these like do a directory on either of them. You can copy files and move files, but they're not going to be very good for running actual text-based apps. So this is in here to show you how to do it this time but this isn't really what we're talking about when we're talking about command line apps, which we'll get into more in the next video. Uh, anyway, that was through the menus. The other way to do it is similar to what we saw in Mac and Linux. Click on the start bar, and instead of scrolling through the menu, you can just type, see, oh, it's called command line here, command prompt, and once you start typing, I've got C-O-M-M-N, and command prompt shows up right there. If I would prefer, I could click on that and I could start typing PowerShell, Power, Powers with an S, and there they are. Boom, just like before. So with any of these operating systems, you can bring it up either through the keyboard or the mouse. Keyboard's usually faster, as we'll see when we get into the other apps. But for now, you can do it the easy way. So as we've seen, getting into the Mac, Windows, or Linux terminals is really very, very simple, very easy. You do it in a snap, it's no problem at all. If this sounds like something you'd like to get more into, like and subscribe below. And in the second video, I'll show you how to do the same things in a slightly more powerful, more advanced way. If you're as impatient as I am and don't like waiting for more videos, pick up the book. Going Text, Mastering the Power of the Command Line, available at all the usual bookselling places. See you next time.